Dr. Keith, hello and welcome to you. Hello, how are you? Nice I'm, to be here. I'm fine. Nice to have you here. Okay. Kind of a surprising statistic, 25% more plastic surgery in 2000 than in 1999, according to the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery. First of all, are you surprised by this number, and why is it on the rise? No, I'm not surprised at all. I think part of the reason it's on the rise is that there are more, certainly, doctors doing cosmetic surgery and plastic surgery, and there's a bigger demand because of the types of results that are being achieved. But there are also some people performing procedures who may not be qualified. Isn't that right? Well, what, what's happened in healthcare today is that there are physicians who no longer are in private practice in the specialties that they uh, were originally practicing in, and they're seeking other ways to augment their practice, and they're stepping out doing procedures possibly that they didn't have uh, specific training for. And I, I, as a potential patient, you have to be careful with that. And we'll get to that in a minute, but let me ask, isn't that illegal, and how are these doctors getting away with this? Well, any doctor is a physician and surgeon and can do pretty much any type of surgery that uh, he or she wants to do if they're doing it in an outpatient setting. Mm. It's when they do it in a hospital that credentialing comes into play and then they wouldn't be allowed to do it. But if someone has a surgery center and it's credentialed, they can pretty much do what they want as long as it's uh, not life-threatening from the standpoint of open-heart surgery or gallbladder surgery or something like that. Right. You certainly wouldn't want your dermatologist doing that. But, um, could a dermatologist, say, uh, perform liposuction? There are dermatologists performing liposuction, yes. Okay. Yeah. And that's not of concern to you at all? Well, I mean, you know, liposuction per se, there are dermatologists who have learned to perform liposuction, and I'm sure they do a fine job. My particular preference is to have a surgeon do surgery. In my field, plastic and reconstructive surgery, uh, it takes about seven years of surgical training after four years of medical school in order to learn to do these procedures. And I right. think you should have a surgical background. And obviously, you want to make sure you are getting uh, someone who knows what they're doing. How do you go about finding someone who is accredited, who is reputable? Well, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons uh, has an 800 number that you can call to find out if someone is a board-certified plastic surgeon, and that's the first step. You want somebody who is board-certified in plastic surgery. Uh, once you've done that, you can talk to other doctors about the physician in your community. You can talk to uh, patients. You try to find out as much information about the surgeon as you can. Okay, let's take a look at one of the more popular plastic surgery procedures, and that is rhinoplasty, better known as a nose job. Uh, what are we looking at here? Well, this is, this is an attractive young woman who really uh, had a lot of the focus of attention of her appearance on her nose because she had a big bump on her nose, if you will, which is made out of bone and cartilage. And you can see uh, once she's had what's called a rhinoplasty, she has a softer, uh, nicer look, and the nose is no longer a focus of attention, but blends with her face a little bit better. That's really dramatic. Um, is there anyone who should Thank avoid you. rhinoplasty? Well, there are uh, specific indications for rhinoplasty, and those have to be uh, reviewed with the surgeon relative to breathing and uh, uh, appearance problems. It's all intermingled, so it's kind of between the doctor and the patient whether or not they're a good candidate. Okay. Let's talk about now laser surgery. This is something that's a bit newer. How does this work? Well, there are different types of lasers. I'm using currently the CO2 laser, and I use it in conjunction with facelifts, and what it does is the facelift helps with some of the bigger wrinkles and then the laser cleans up some of the smaller wrinkles and this woman in particular uh, had a facelift but also she had a carbon dioxide laser procedure that as you can see took away a lot of the fine wrinkles. Wow. Of course she has makeup on but that won't cover up the fine wrinkles. And she, it brought her personality out. She's a wonderful, wonderful gal. Good grief. I mean it really is like looking at two different people. Uh, is, is laser itself a fairly quick procedure if you don't have the facelift to go along with it? It takes probably about an hour to do laser, but it, there are significant post-operative uh, regimens that have to be adhered to uh, to prevent infection. It is a burn of sorts. It's a controlled right. burn. So uh, it's a prolonged 10-day post-operative course, and mm -hmm. patients have to be prepared for it. Okay, let's take uh, our final look at the full Monty, so to speak, a full facelift, <laughs> if we could uh, look at some results here. Um, I know that uh, facelifts are becoming much more popular, but uh, this takes lots of recovery time, doesn't it? Not really. Uh, the, the wounds are usually healed fairly well within two weeks. Sutures come out after the end of a week. 
there's swelling that can occur up to four to five months, but after about three or four weeks, someone can be out in public and uh, they won't have the full result, but they'll look pretty good. This is an example of a younger woman who just wanted a little bit of the neck tightening. Here's a woman who's a little bit older and had a little more fat in her neck that was removed and the jawline was uh, straightened out a little bit. And then the final picture uh, is somebody who's elderly and really with it, bright woman, and just wanted to look look her age right. more uh, than look look wrinkled. Dramatic results. All right, Dr. Thank Jeffrey you. Key, plastic surgeon, joining us from Beverly Hills. Thank you. And the big Thank tip you. is right. find a board-certified plastic surgeon.